common functions and their graphs. You should be familiar with the Cartesian coordinate system. In this lesson, we will discuss important facts about the graphs of many common functions. Linear functions can be described in several ways, the simplest being slope-intercept form. A line is determined by its slope and where it crosses the y-axis. Another important family of functions are power functions. The parabola y equals x squared goes through the origin and the points 1, 1 and negative 1, 1. It is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. y equals x cubed goes through the origin and the points 1, 1 and negative 1, negative 1. It is symmetric with respect to the origin. All higher even powers of x, like x to the 4th, x to the 6th, etc., look similar to y equals x squared. They all go through the origin, the points 1, 1, and negative 1, 1, and are symmetric with respect to the y-axis. The higher the power, the longer the function stays close to the x-axis, and the steeper the graph is beyond x equals 1. All higher odd powers of x, like x to the 5th, x to the 7th, etc., look similar to y equals x cubed. They all go through the origin, the points 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1, and are symmetric with respect to the origin. The higher the power, the longer the function stays close to the x-axis, and the steeper the graph is beyond x equals 1. Exponential functions stay above the x-axis. That is, their range is strictly positive. They all pass through the point 0, 1. They all approach the x-axis asymptotically to the left. The larger the base, the longer the graph stays close to the x-axis for negative values of x, and the steeper the graph climbs to the right. Logarithm functions are the inverses of exponential functions. They all have a domain which is strictly positive. They all pass through the point 1, 0. They all approach the y-axis asymptotically downward. The larger the base, the longer the bottom of the graph stays close to the y-axis, and the shallower the graph is to the right. The two wave functions, y equals sine of x and y equals cosine of x, are periodic with period 2 pi. They both have maximum values of 1 and minimum values of negative 1. The sine wave passes through the origin, reaches its maximum value of 1 at x equals pi over 2, returns to a y value of 0 at x equals pi, reaches its minimum value of negative 1 at x equals 3 pi over 2, and returns to a y value of 0 at 2 pi. The sine wave then repeats one wave every 2 pi. The cosine wave passes through the point 1, 0, drops to a y value of 0 at x equals pi over 2, reaches its minimum value of negative 1 at x equals pi, returns to a y value of 0 at 3 pi over 2, and ascends to 1 at x equals 2 pi. The cosine wave then repeats one wave every 2 pi. The graph of y equals tangent of x has branches separated by asymptotes. The asymptotes occur at x equals pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, etc., both to the right and the left of the y-axis. The graph passes through the origin, the point pi over 4, 1, and the point negative pi over 4, negative 1. The tangent graph then repeats every pi. The inverse of the sine function, also called the arcsine, outputs angles associated with sine values. The domain is the possible sine values from negative 1 to 1. The range is the angles in the fourth and first quadrants, from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. The inverse of the cosine function, also called arc cosine, outputs angles associated with cosine values. The domain is the possible cosine values from negative 1 to 1. The range is the angles in the first and second quadrant from 0 to pi. 
The inverse of the tangent function, also called the arctangent, outputs angles associated with the tangent values. The domain is the possible tangent values, which are all real numbers. The range is the angles in the fourth and first quadrants from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2.